Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to build a clickable prototype in Figma and the interactions I will show you are used for navigation, for overlays and for changes in the state of components. Let's hop onto Figma and get right onto it. So here I am in a fresh and new uh, clean Figma project and I will start on the navigation side. So I will first create two frames uh, that we can use to navigate from one to the other. So I get the frames, the dimensions of an iPhone and make a copy of it and um, give them a name, orange screen and a blue screen, give them a background color that kind of fits to the name and now I add a couple of buttons in here just plain rectangles one orange one blue give it a bit of a back uh, outline fat one bit of an effect and another one that one I make blue and I move them same way into the other frame all right, and for navigation, that's all I want in terms of design. So let's go to the prototyping tab. And here I can click on the orange one. It's already on the orange screen. So for the blue one, I want to add an interaction that I go to the blue screen. So on tab, I navigate to the blue one. And same way from on the blue screen, from the orange one, we navigate back to the orange screen. So let's see how that looks like. Blue screen, orange, black. But basically it works. So let's see, it's not very nice. Let's see on the interaction side. We have a couple of options here. We can do a smart animate and that uh, dissolves or, or tries its best. But what we can also do is we can move in and we same on the way back. Let's try something else here. Instead of move in, we push that way we see the difference. So again, let's run that. So we here it moves on top of the existing layer and here it pushes the one out. So I like the pushing out better. So we push and one pushes from the left and the other one I want to push in from the right. So let's see. Much better. So that's how you can build a simple navigation. Move screens. Uh, if you have multiple screens on your app, you can move from one to the other. Here, just add it to. But of course, you can have a little menu with multiple screens and move from one to the other. So that's really on the navigation side. 
let's add a bit of an overlay on this. So for an overlay, we need to add an additional frame. And I call it overlay. Uh, let's give it a color that's a bit awkward. Let's make it light blue. And let's add an additional button here to open up the overlay. Let's give this button also an, an awkward color and maybe actually round the corners a bit. All right. So in terms of interaction here, we go back to the prototype tab and we add the interaction on clicking it. We open up, instead of navigate to, we open the overlay, all right? And here it sets to instant, but we can also make, make it moving in from the top. And the question is, where should it stop? Here it would stop at the center, but we can also make it uh, top center. All right, so this would make it move in. Now we need something to close it again. So on that overlay, I create a button. Let's give this button also an awkward color. Let's make it bright green. No, that's too painful, dark green. Um, and give it an interaction on tab we close the overlay okay and for this let's see how that works So we go to the blue screen. Here we have the red button that opens the overlay. And when I clean, click on the green one, it goes away. Nothing happens here and away. All right, that's how you open an overlay. Now let's add the last part uh, of this little demo and that would be uh, changes in the state of an object. That's slightly more compl complicated. We have to create a component for that and uh, add the, the functionality to change the state. So let's build something very small and make it a component. Uh, let me add another rectangle down here. And what I do is I just add a couple circles and want to make them move. So I need some awkward colors again. Uh, this circle will be black and it will move in a white space. And you can move it by clicking on a little arrow, which I stick to the left and to the right. And that I make, let's say a red. And I make a copy of that one and stick it to the right. This one I rotate 90 degree, no, 270 degree. And this one I rotate 90 degree. Okay. So what I do now, let's give this one an outline. Okay. 
I make this a component and uh, now I add variants of this component and I make three variants and in the top one uh, I make only the left button visible this one I set invisible this one I set invisible and this polygon I won't need because it's already on the left on the center one I make this one invisible and this one invisible the one at the bottom I won't need the arrow to the right okay so I have to give these component variants names and I have to give them names property equal value so let's say this one is point is left and this one point equal center and point is right and the whole component I call mover so what I now can do is I go to my orange frame click on assets I see now this component and I can add this to my little screen fits right onto it and what I still have to do is add the interaction the movement so going back to my component here when I click on the orange polygon here I want the state to change on tab change to center and similar on this one on the left one when you click on the right I want the state to change to center and when you are already in the center then I want the state to a change and I can just click like this it moves to the left oops that is wrong I want it to move to the right and this one can go away and similar if I move to the left then I want this to move here all right does that look right maybe it gets a little bit nicer if I change the layout of this one and have this center one in the center the right one here looks much better okay this interaction is already in use for this uh, instance of that component so let's give it a try Click on the right one and it, oops. Stuck here, okay. So I still need to do something on the center one. Here. Oh, it's set to on drag, but I want it on tab. And similar here. This should actually work. On tap, change to left. All right, 
should work. Okay. That's what I wanted. And now we also see it's set to instant and the last one is not. So let's play around with the ways to move this. So it's set animation is set to instant, but we can also do a smart animate and let's say set this to 900 milliseconds. Um, whoop. And see how that looks like and back. All right, that should make a difference. All right, so that looks a bit more smooth. Of course, 900 milliseconds is very long, uh, but it uh, makes it more clear what's actually going on here. So these are three very basic types of uh, interactivity that you can use in your mobile app um, prototypes to visualize the, um, the functionality. So play around with it, have fun and follow me for more. Thank you very much.